So then what I'm going to show you is exactly how to use Entity SEO on ChatGPT. Plus, I'll be explaining exactly how it is and some of my best prompts for extracting entities to make sure that your content ranks. For example, if you look at these two articles that we created with auto blogging AI, we're ranking on the first page for it, for example, this keyword and this one too. Let's check it. Yeah, you can see us ranking on the first page for that particular keyword. And today, what I'm going to show you is my best chat GPT prompts to quickly extract entities from your blogs and use them in your SEO workflow so you can rank higher and rank content on the first page of Google, just like we've shown here. Plus, I'm going to give away all the prompts, SEO templates, workflows, etc. And it's available for you at the end of this video. So let's get into it. Quick one, if you're not sure why entities matter, basically they're very useful for SEO because they give contextual understanding, right? So entities help search engines understand the context of your content beyond just your basic keywords, right? And if you use entities in your content, then it makes it more relevant to specific search queries. Now, the thing is, if you just create chat GPT content straight off the bat without any sort of preparation, yes, you can add your keywords in, Yes, you can add your LSI keywords in, but semantically, if you want to make your content the most relevant it can possibly be, then you do want to include some entities in there as well. Some people in the SEO crowd have been using this for years and years. Some people don't know what it is. And if you're new to SEO or if you haven't looked into semantic SEO, then this video is going to help you a lot. Now, you might ask as well, why is ChatGPT great for entity-based SEO? Well, the thing is, ChatGPT is a large language model, right? So ChatGPT's NLP capabilities allow it to understand and generate content with relevant entities better than most humans would. And it's really efficient for content creation, as we all know. And you can also use ChatGPT strategically to focus on relevant entities that align with your SEO strategy. So let's get into it. So what we can say to ChatGPT is list and analyze the main entities found in top Google search results for. And actually, it's going to scrape Bing, but both of them are search results. And then you just put in your target keywords. So for example, chat GPT for link building related to whatever niche you're in. So let's say we're in SEO link building, provide a summary on how these entities are used in the content, right? And because chat GPT four has web browsing enabled, it can do the research on being searched for our keyword. It actually links directly to the search as you can see right here. So it links to chat GPT and the search right there. And then we've got relevant entities to the topic, as you can see. Now, if you just want to extract the list of entities, maybe you're using that in your workflows, etc., then you can just say, give me a list of just the entities and it'll give you a list of the entities here. Or what you can also do is you can just say to ChatGPT, which related names, places, and the entities should an article on, and then you insert your keyword mention, right? So for example, an article on ChatGPT for link building, related names, places, and entities include AI and NLP technologies, SEO tools and platforms, SEO marketing experts, content management systems, some relevant communities, et cetera. And then what you can say is extract this list of entities so that I can use them for chat GPT content creation. And there you've got your list of extracted entities, as you can see. Now, for me, I actually prefer this approach where you use this prompt right here rather than the first one, because it gets more straight to the point and it categorizes the type of entities that you're putting into the article. And then you can easily extract them again with a list that cuts out all the fluff. Now, what we can do is for content creation, we can start using this list of entities, right? So we can say, create an article for a guide on chat GPT for link building that includes these key entities. And you would just plug in the entities right here. So let's grab that. And then you can say, focus on incorporating these entities naturally and contextually. Now, sometimes you're going to find that the content it actually recommends goes a little bit off topic. So for example, with this prompt right here, it doesn't actually mention link building with chat GPT. So if you want to guide it back in the right direction, you can just say, make sure that all the content headings are optimized for the keyword. And then you insert it right back there. And it will still use the same entities as you can see, but now each keyword and each heading and each section of the content is relevant to the topic that we want to rank for. And I've actually added that into the prompt right here, along with all the other prompts that we've talked about for identification and analysis, which you can see right here. And so just to recap, you've extracted all the relevant entities, you've listed them into bullet points like so, you've briefed ChatGPT on actually creating a relevant outline for the content, as you can see, and now it's time to start creating the content, which you can actually do by using this prompt right here. And what we're going to do is turn this content into a comprehensive article about the keyword, 
which ChatGPT already has. And we're just going to tell it to write 33% of the content right now. And then once it's done, it will ask me if we want to continue writing the next 33% of the content or if I have any changes. And you can see it's blasting out the content right here. One thing I would recommend is just getting rid of the chapters because obviously you wouldn't include that inside the content. But as you can see, it's relevant. It's included the entities. And what we'll also do just to make sure that it is using the relevant entities is we'll say highlight the relevant entities in bold. I've just edited the prompt now. And don't include chapter in the headings because obviously we don't want to use that. And also include some relevant. And you can see now it's optimizing the content in a better way. And so if you ever get like responses that you don't like or you think the prompt needs to be edited, etc., for better responses, you can just click the edit button right there, edit the content and go from there. We've also added some relevant external links, as you can see, and the entities there. And as we've talked about, the entities plus the keyword are bolded inside the content. Then it's also inserted some relevant FAQs and it's asked if we would like to write the next 33% of the article or if we have any changes in mind. So if you don't get the response you want, you can just rewrite and edit the content. If we check how long the content output is, it's 300 words. So it'd be quite easy to get to a thousand words using this process. Plus we can always add more content onto it at the end. And you can see it's even including the relevant entities inside the headings too. Now, what we could also do is we can optimize our existing articles that need to be rewritten for entities. And I'll show you exactly how that works too. So if we scroll up, we'll take the entities that we generated earlier, for example, like these ones, we'll paste those into the chat GPT prompt. And then we can take our existing article that is ranking for the keyword and might require a little boost. And we can just copy and paste that into chat GPT like so, and basically review our existing article to make sure that it's optimized for entities. And it's going to give us some actionable suggestions and insights for re-optimizing the content using entities. So for example, improving the introduction, editing the Harper AI section so that it compares popular tools like Ahrefs, SEMrush and Moz, mentioning more SEO and marketing experts inside of the content, and basically just editing all the content so that it includes relevant entities and it shows us exactly where to do that and how. So just to recap, we've found out how to do entity identification using these prompts. If you want to get a good prompt on creating content outlines based on entities, you can get that one right here. If you want to actually create the content using entity based content creation, you've got the prompt right here. And if you want to learn how to optimize your existing content and create FAQs plus meta descriptions, there's a bunch of prompts right there. Now, finally, I just want to mention the risks of not using entities. So if you don't use entities, Obviously, your content is going to be less relevant without entities. And if you're competing against good SEOs, additionally, if you're trying to compete with semantic SEOs, it's going to be quite difficult to compete on page because you haven't included relevant entities inside your content. So that's why these prompts are so useful. I've also shown you case studies of how it's already worked and ranked in the past with chipperbirds.com. Now, there's actually a bunch of chat GPT, custom GPTs that you can use for extracting entities as well if you have access to chat GPT plus. So if you search Google and I think the GPT store is coming out soon, apparently this week, but in the meantime, if you search site colon openai.com forward slash G and then type in, for example, entity SEO, you're going to see a bunch of keyword extractor tools for entities as you can see. So we'll give these a whirl and see what they're like and we'll test them out. I don't know if they're good or not. So it's going to ask for a URL. So I'm going to provide that now. Let's take this URL and you can see the keyword that we're targeting in this article is forum backlinks. We got the chat GPT classic and error analyzing it. So what we'll do is we'll try and take the content from the page and we'll plug that into the tool instead. And now you can see it's analyzed our existing content and given us some ideas on what we can improve on the page. Now I would expect that functionality where it analyzes the URL to be working most of the time. But either way, even if you paste in the content manually, you get a list of entities and it explains why these are central entities as well. So for example, link building strategies or Google's webmaster guidelines, etc. These are all semantically relevant and these are all entities relevant to the topic that we're trying to rank for, along with alternative link building strategies. What I think this could also be useful for is actually looking at content that's not ranking and maybe you've built links to it. Maybe you've optimized the on-page content using the right keywords and the right headings and scraping your competitors, et cetera, but you're just missing those last few percents, which could be the entities that you need to add on the page. So I'm going to add that tool as well inside the SOP. So what I'm going to do is include 
these prompts and all the video notes inside my ChatGPT SEO course. It comes with hundreds of SEO tutorials on pretty much everything you could ever think of when it comes to SEO. And I'm going to include this inside the content creation section. As you can see, we'll add a new lesson that is called Entity Chat GPT Prompts. And we'll call that Entities, right? So it's in the content creation section. Go to Entities. This also includes an example workflow of how I've ranked number one with entity based SEO using autoblogging. Plus, I've added the new entity prompts to my 50 Chat GPT document. And all the prompts that we've talked about today are inside that document as well, as you can see. So thanks so much for watching. If you want to get access to my free ChatGPT SEO course with over 140 ChatGPT SEO courses, prompts, templates, tutorials, SAPs, etc., you can get instant access links in the comments and description. If you want to book in a free call about how to get more leads, traffic, and sales from SEO using link building, feel free to book in your free SEO strategy session and you will get an SEO domination plan. You'll discover the secrets of link building. We'll answer any questions that you have. You'll discover the best link building strategies for your website and you'll discover how to quickly outrank your competitors with link building. Feel free to book that in. Thanks so much for watching. Appreciate it. Bye-bye.